Welcome back, Beaver Nation, to another episode of the Beaver Sports Show. And I have to say, Boone, it feels great to be back. It sure does, Rick. With the new term, brings back the excitement of Gill Coliseum and all the high hopes for our winter sports teams. Speaking of Gill, the men's basketball team was in action this past weekend as the L.A. schools made the trip up to Oregon to try and improve on their Pac-10 records. And the women's gymnastics team is continuing their excellent season so far as they beat number 12 Ohio State. You're watching the Beaver Sports Show. Stay tuned. Alongside me, as always, is Boone Kruger, and I'm Rick Stella, and this is the Beaver Sports Show. The men's basketball team surprised many critics two weeks ago when they beat both Arizona State and Arizona at Gill Coliseum to open up the Pac-10 schedule. After two rough road losses in Washington, the Beavers returned to Corvallis, hoping to find more of the magic they had against the Arizona schools. Thursday pitted the UCLA Bruins against our hometown Beavers, and aside from a slow first half, the Beavers impressed. Boone Kruger has the highlight. The Oregon State Beavers took on the UCLA Bruins Thursday night looking to rebound from their tough road trip to the Washington schools. Entering the contest at 7-8 and eight overall and 2-2 two and two in the Pac-10, the Beavers felt confident that they could upset the Bruins in front of a great home crowd at Gill Coliseum. However, the Bruins had other plans as they jumped out to a quick 9-2 lead in the first four minutes of the game. The Bruins dominated much of the first half as the Beavers were never able to find any offensive rhythm as the tough Bruin D forced many contested shots. On the other end of the court, the Bruins could do no wrong as their offense was moving along like a juggernaut. UCLA found many easy layups and jumpers as they shot an amazing 65% from the floor, taking a 37-22 halftime lead. The second half turned out to be a much different story as the Beavers settled down offensively and found their rhythm. After shooting 23% from the floor in the first half, OSU was able to improve their percentage to 40% in the second half. Offensively, the Beavers were led by redshirt freshman Roberta Nelson as he had 13 points, shooting 4 for 9 from the floor, 2 for 4 from 3 point range, and 3 for 4 from the line. Devon Collier, another freshman making an impact for OSU, had 9 points to go along with 4 rebounds and a block. With a little under 5 minutes left in the game and the score 55-51 to in favor of the Bruins, Joe Burton found Jared Cunningham in the corner for a 3-pointer to make the score 55-54. to A little more than a minute and a half later, Roberto Nelson was able to drain a 3, giving the Beavers their first lead of the game at 57-55 to with 2.47 to go in the game. There would be more scoring in the game, unfortunately none of it by the Beavers, as they wouldn't score again. Down 59-57, to Calvin Haynes had a chance to tie the game, but his contested layup wouldn't fall with 20 seconds left. UCLA was then able to shoot free throws in the final seconds to put the game out of reach. The final, UCLA 62, Oregon State 57. 